For instant MSP and PSN codes, visit the game keys. And for instant coins, visit justfifacoins.com. Use Nick at checkout on both sites for 5% off. What's up, you beauties? Welcome to a new look Leeds United career mode video. Now, I've recently moved into my office, so we're going to all be getting used to me using a green screen and kind of being melted into the gameplay of the video. But there's going to be more coming for this series, guys. Now that I have a green screen, I didn't have the time to do it today, but what I want to do, especially for the January transfer window, is actually to be able to impose some kind of new settings that make this career mode a lot more realistic so I might be doing things such as interviews with reporters and of course a management press conference but I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below are you happy with the way this series is progressing I think we're on episode 9 now where we're just playing games we're slowly getting our first team figuring out which players are good which are bad working towards the January transfer window and just keep going like this or do you want me to try and do something a little bit different with this series do interviews and that type of stuff let me know in the comments below if you're happy or you'd kind of like a change of what I'm planning now I do want to say thank you as well for the support on this series I'm not uploading it as much as I should it's just because there's so much else going on in my YouTube channel and planned videos etc but it seems like every time I upload this series it gets over 3,000 likes even though the views don't get as high as I'd like them to be I'm gonna keep this series going for the die-hard career mode guys that love this series now now for the first game of the episode, I'm going to change the team around a little bit and go with the guys that are doing well for me, but you know what? I'm also going to sub in Mawit. Now if you know why I'm subbing him in, obviously you're a Leeds United fan. The kid has had a wonderful week, scored two incredible goals for Leeds in real life. So I'm going to reflect that in my series and give him a start for the team. He's a great prospect and really someone that should probably feature more for me even in my career mode. And of course we're going to get the few other starters back in the team, so Baker's going back in, Akpom is going to stay as a substitute. Sloat we just took out. Antonucci we just took out. Roberts is also going to go back in the team and we're going to slot him where? You know what? Let's sit Zakaria Bakali on the bench. I haven't been overly impressed with him to be very honest with you. There you go. So let's go get our game against Middlesbrough. Again, it's an away game, so not something I'm going to sim. We want the win. I just want to push myself up the table, get myself locked into that second place position. All right, come on, boys. Play strong right from kickoff. Oh, my goodness. Wilson is doing just that. Oh, oh, Wilson. Billy Sharp is a bit... Oh, oh my God. No. Oh, that would have been absolutely fantastic. Oh, what a ball that was. Oh, my goodness, Wilson. Wilson. Pack the oh, referee. That's got it. Referee. Are you having a laugh? That has to be a penalty there. Are you drunk? Now it. Just wait. Wait till something opens up. There we go. Roberts is... Oh, my goodness. You know what? Oh, oh, Roberts, a little bit of skill inside. Oh, off the post, Roberts, unlucky. I can't buy a goal right now. Come on, boys, keep pushing. Baker's holding on to it. There you go. No one's committing to the tackle. Let's, oh, lovely, lovely. Wilson to Billy, Billy, oh, and again, Mowit is a monster at center attacking mid. Oh my goodness. So there are the halftime stats. As you can see, not much to write home about, to be honest. We've been pressuring well. The possession's kind of been split down the middle. We've had a few decent chances, but have not been able to solve the keeper just yet. Oh, 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 oh. He's dilly-dallying with the ball over here. Oh, I thought we'd be able to pick that up. I guess not. Uh, that's another mistake, isn't it? Yup, it is. Okay. You know what? Mm -hmm. Cut back. Lovely. Oh, 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 that's go- Oh, I don't even know what I was saying there. Just nice little bit of play. And was that Roberts or Mowit now? No, that was Mowit. So the guy that gets a chance for us gets the assist. And there you go, boys. The Leeds Young Guns are doing well. Oh, no. Oh, oh, are you ca are you serious, referee? That is a minute foul, and you give that penalty, but right at the start of the game, the keeper completely cleaned me out, and you gave us nothing. This referee has been absolutely purchased by Millsboro. Like, what on earth? How is that a penalty? Come on, Silvestri. I believe in you, buddy. You and those horrific cornrows that you have. Go left, right, left. Oh, he chipped it, the bastard. Vossen, you cheeky, cheeky, cheeky boy. I am not happy about that, although credit to him. He had the balls to take the Pirlo penalty kick and it paid off, didn't it? Oh my god, though, Warnock with the passive dreams! Oh! Oh, what's happening? Oh, boys, I don't think we're gonna get the win out of this. Oh my god, man, honestly, that is an absolute travesty that we did not get the three points out of that game, boys. I mean, 
we had the game in our hands, the referee didn't give us a penalty, then gave them what was even a softer penalty. I couldn't believe it. We hit the post, as you can see. I'm not sure if you saw that in the editing or not. Tidy little goal there by Wilson, but gotta split the spoils, I guess, at the end of the day. What are you gonna do? So for this press conference, because Cardiff City is actually right at our heels, I don't know if this really matters because we're not simulating the game, but I'm gonna motivate my players after getting a 1-1 draw. I think we're gonna need all the help we can get. And to be fair, the team played very well as is. I'm not gonna make a single substitution. I was very happy that game or that draw all came down to the referee. So let's go, boys. Let's see if we can get a home victory against Cardiff. Okay, okay. Ooh, lovely breakdown. Oh, too much weight on the pass, Billy. Ref, ref, surely that's a foul. Oh my word, that should have been a foul. It had to have been a foul, ref. Oh, we're going to have words at halftime, referee. If this goes in the net, oh, Silvestri, what a bit of play. No, boys, that, the, uh, uh, okay. Here we go. Wilson, get on a run, Wilson. Oh, my gosh. They're, are they on ultra defensive? Oh, oh, Wilson. Wilson, Wilson, the pace. Oh, when he hits the post, Wilson. Oh, he did everything right except put that the right side of the post. And on that miss, there is the halftime whistle. The halftime report obviously shows it's a very even game. Not really much to show you guys in terms of replays. It's just been back and forth. And believe it or not, Cardiff City is actually the team that's pushing more and holding possession better than us. Oh, okay. Overcommitment. I like the overcommitment. Akpom, hit that Akpom! Oh, the substitute almost gets the goal there. Still with the ball, boys. That was it. Oh, oh my god. Mawit! Mawit! Well done, buddy. 90th minute. We've been pushing for the last 10 minutes, boys. Fully deserved. What a lovely interchange between Wilson. And that was literally the last kick of the game, boys. Mawit, the hero of the episode so far. So proud of the team. Fully deserved that win. And again, the keeper came up huge. Marshall was great, but we deserved the three points all the way. Up next, we do have an away game at Bolton. Now, I would normally play the game, but I've got a four-point lead on Wigan and really a five-point lead on Fulham. So even if we lose the game, we're not going to lose second place. And as you you can see Bolton is 16th place so I know it's an away game anyone watching this video that knows the rules of career modes probably going no Nick don't do it but if I put my strongest team my highest rated team together I think we can get the three points and I'm gonna risk it so there's the team I'm gonna go with for this game it's pretty much the highest rated team or the team that's performing the best other than Mawit now I could have put in Sloat as well but we're trusting the young gun I think he can make a difference even in the simulated game <laughs> Are you serious, EA? We lasted all the way to the 89th minute and then Prattley had to get the game winner. Really? Oh, and all those naysayers, the people that were saying, Nick, don't do it, are now like going right to the screen. See, you stupid Canadian, I told you so. Damn it, man. I can't believe we dropped all the points. So it's been brought to my attention that there's, I think, six players that are nearing the end of their contract. Now, some of them I don't want to lose because I think they're going to be great players growing into the team they're still young but some of the players I'm not too worried about losing so Taylor I'm looking to replace him anyways he's I think 34 or 35 or something like that yeah 34 Warnock as well isn't getting any younger he's 33 and Mr. Noel Hunt is also going on 31 so those three I'm gonna let go but Thompson White and Cook, I'm gonna try and sign them to new contracts. So Cook is pretty easy. I think he ends up wanting, yeah, 2,000 pound a week and a three year deal. Yeah, we can uh, we can definitely work that out for you, buddy, absolutely. White wants a three year deal as well and wants 5,000 pound a week. Again, I'm okay with that, no issues at all. And Thompson, okay, so the exact same thing he wants, just another 3,000 pound a week, so we'll do that as well for him. So now we're running into a few issues here. First of all, Jordi Fluchels, the guy that I signed on, and I think I ended up making the mistake saying that he'd be a crucial first team player, is not getting into the team because he's too young. Now, I have tried to loan him out to get him experience, but he's just sitting in the club, so I need to make note of putting him in the team in the next few games to keep him happy. 
awkward. Here we're saying we're going to let uh, Stephen Warnock's contract run out, and he's saying he's at least happy he's being played. That's a good thing. That was upsetting to not get in the team. You know what, buddy? You can piss right off. You're on loan. I'm playing you when I want to, so you can just sit on the bench a little bit longer. Chupa Akpom. So this is the team that I've kind of fashioned for the very next game, and I am going to be a stubborn prick, boys. I don't care what you guys think. I think this team can get a win even while it's being simulated. It's now a home game against Blackpool, so all the naysayers saying that I can only win home games... Let's see if you guys are right. Blackpool, I think, is ninth or 10th place. Again, we're three points ahead of Wigan in second place. So again, if I drop points, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> And there it is, boys, trusting in the team. Wilson gets a goal, but is then injured. That scares me. But Sloat gets brought into the team in place of, I believe it was Bianchi, and gets us two goals and what is essentially all three points. That is absolutely fantastic. Now, I am a little bit scared. Let's see if, first of all, how long... Okay, nine days, I'm okay. James Wilson will be fine after nine days. No issue there. So, Aiden White accepted the contract. That's great. And Lewis Cook declined the contract. You know what? I'm not too, too happy about that. I've now been given a reason by Zach Thompson why he declined to renew the contract he just wants to move on at the end of his contract fair enough so we have an away game at Birmingham again we do have second place locked up but Birmingham are 19th so I'm hoping we can get three points I'm gonna play this game I want to secure it you know what Wigan is holding on to that third place and the three-point lead that we have is still not growing and that's gonna be the team we use against Birmingham Oh my goodness, boys, and we're playing our first game in the snow. Now, I think the season is obviously winter time. It's December now, so I don't know. This is the first time I've played career mode against the computer on World Class in the snow. You know what? Uh, right off of kickoff. What am I playing? Online? Holy shit, no. No. That can't be, ref. You can not off of kickoff. Come on. The soft penalties that we're giving away as a team is terrible. Oh, was it Bazoor that... What is going on there? I think they ended up just getting caught between each other. That can't be that strong of a penalty shout. Okay, Silvestri, I believe in you. Get that! Oh, I went the right way as well, Silvestri! So there's the halfway point stats. As you guys can see, still a goal down. I don't know if what you saw in the editing shows, but we've been pressuring a lot, have had quite a few chances, but nothing's come from it just yet. Wow. Oh, no. Oh no, that's probably another goal. Oh, oh, wow. What a pass and what a finish by Thomas. I can't get too mad about that. I mean, our passing was lackluster. That is the young target's position that he left completely open. Oh my word off the post. Akpom coming on as a sub almost instantly getting something for us going. Oh my god, Akpom is doing incredible work! Wow, Akpom brings it back by one! That is one impact of a substitute, boys. Tidy. I almost wish he wasn't going back to Arsenal at the end of the year. He's a really, really good player. And maybe that's why he's giving me shit for not using him or putting him in the first team. Here we go, boys. Just keep pushing. Oh, ref, that is dirt. Oh my god, boys, it's beautiful! We go on all-out attack, and my center back scores a wonder goal. Look at that. Baker gets taken out. Antonucci to... Oh, my word. That's a goal that, honestly, Antonucci, Billy Sharp, Wilson, or Chupa Akpom would love to score. What a hit. Oh, Del Fabro, you blonde-haired beauty. What a goal, son. Baker. Oh, my word. Zacharia, Zacharia, can we take three points? Oh my word, is this actually happening? Did we just get three points? Zacharia Bakali! He finally does something, holds up the ball, and what a strike, son! <laughs> and that was the last kick of the game, boys. I have no idea how we managed to win that, but I'll take it.
The drama was just huge in that game. And as you guys can see, we deserved it. We had eight shots, six on target. I think that says we wanted the three points. And on that note, that's where we're going to end it, boys. We are getting to the January transfer window. The time to buy and sell players beckons. Of course, please let me know in the comments below. Who do you think I should buy? Who do you think I should ship out? Should I try and ship out a few of the players that have declined contract renewals? Maybe players that are getting a little older. Maybe Jordi Fluchels will send them out on loan. You guys let me know who should come, who should go in the comments below. Smash the shit out of the like button. And quickly, I'm going to show you guys, obviously, all of the players in terms of how they're growing for the team. If you see a certain player that you want to see their stats more like Del Frabro, just go back to his name and pause it. But the team is just growing incredibly well. I think every single player is doing well in terms of their growth. Both Mawit, Marco Antonucci's not doing too well, but he's getting a little bit older. But that doesn't matter. I had so much actually recording and creating this episode that I can't wait for the next one. I know I say that at the end of pretty much every episode, but I mean it for this one, guys. I want to keep this series going, and what's going to keep it going is transfers coming in, of course, and of course, getting ourselves into the BPL. So I need to push one, two, three, four, five, seven more episodes. Maybe we'll be all the way into the Barclays Premier League. And on that that note you absolute beauties i hope you have a fantastic evening and myself and this happy leeds united team will catch you on the flip side peace